Welcome into Deceptively Fast University. I'm Seth Payne. Today you are going to learn about the Houston Astros' most anticipated rookie debuts in history. On September 22, 1964, a few things happened. Larry Durker turned 18 years old. He could legally buy a beer. He could also debut for the Colt 45s and strike out Willie Mays. He'd go on to win 137 games for the Astros. 14 years ago, they retired his jersey. Also won a couple games for the, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals, who can go screw themselves. In what was possibly the best major league debut until Wesley Snipes took the field, J.R. Richard took the field on September 5th, 1971, struck out 15 in a complete game win. J.R. Richard, the R stands for Rodney. I have no idea why you would why you would hide a glorious name like Rodney in an acronym, but he chose to do it. He's six foot eight. He could he could stand on the rubber, reach up, and scrub the Astrodome roof with his bare hands, with his left hand, he was with his right hand, he was right-handed. J.R. Richard, fellas. Terry Puell debuted on July 12, 1977. In that game, he appeared as a defensive replacement, which I'm sure is what propelled him to the All-Star game in 1978, where he wasn't used at all. Not even as a defensive replacement. Craig Biggio, the only Hall of Famer on this list, debuted on June 26, 1988. Didn't get a hit, didn't get hit either. He made up for it and got a lot of those over the course of the next 20 years. Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer. Now, we can't mention Biggio without saying Bagwell. It's in the city bylaws. We have to mention those two together. Bagwell, on April 28, 1991, debuted. And since then, not a single person has tried to emulate his stance because nobody has the balls. In 1992, the Astros used their first overall pick on Phil Nevin, and why not? Because maybe they could have gotten Derek Jeter in the second round. He went four places later with the fifth spot to a team called the New York Yankees. Five championships later, uh, there we have it. The, the Astros ended up trading away Phil Nevin after his debut on June 11, 1995 to Mike Henneman. Mike Henneman, that's what you ended up with. Astros are off, uh, the Yankees are off winning championships. We've got Mike Henneman. Henneman. Rice University legend Lance Berkman made his debut for the Astros on July 16th, 1999 at the age of 23 years, 156 days, making him the 15,118th youngest player ever to debut in Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. Check that, make that 15,119th after Carlos Correa at the age of 20 debuted for the Houston Astros on June 8, 2015. He had a hit, he had an RBI, he had a great throw out at first. He's obviously headed to Cooperstown. I'm Seth Payne. This has been Deceptively Fast University. This has been a lot of stats and numbers, but frankly, we're not going to talk about the Texans until something interesting comes out of OTAs. Carlos Correa is plenty exciting enough. Join us next week.